What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. Today we are playing Dark Knights. Now this is a demo. You know, I don't know nothing about it, I got it off itch.io. It looks like a story, so let's do it. Set your name. Ooh, my name is Patricia. I should have gone home earlier. My shoes are getting soaked. Setting save loaded. Okay. Auto. I don't know about that. These past few days have been so boring that I keep losing track of time. Staying at home does not help, so I often go out. The library is one of my favorite places to visit because it has so much for me to discover. Even so, it doesn't mean I spend all my free time there. I wish something interesting would happen in this village every once in a while. Anything that could kill my boredom. Nice rain loop. I often pass by this mansion during the day, but this time, it catches my attention. I wonder when someone last visited this place. Visited it. No other house in the village looks as lonely as this one does. From afar, it looks grand. If I had to guess, it was probably built over two centuries ago. The atmosphere changes as soon as I approach the house. The whole building is surrounded by a veil of thin mist. All the plants in the garden have been taken over by weeds. I notice an empty fountain behind the trees, a fairy statue in the middle. Its expression makes the environment even more depressing. No matter how you look at it, this place has an incredibly mysterious aura. There is something new to discover with each gaze around the premise. Some of the windows are broken, and the door is locked with heavy chains. My feet start to get cold, love that rain loop, drawing my attention to, the wet, to my wet socks. Uh, I have to come back another time if I want to explore. As I am about to turn around, I see a shadow move behind the windows. Oh, I saw it. I seen it. I try to focus on it, but it's already gone. As if nothing ever happened. Was it a person, or was it just my imagination? I continue staring at the windows. But nothing else happens. Even though that was strange, I am more curious than freaked out. Anyway, I don't want to stay in the rain any longer than necessary thinking about this random shit in the window. Huh? My mind is clouded by thoughts of the mansion, until I hear a familiar voice calling out to me. I turn around and see a girl approaching, a smile playing on her lips. Holy crap! Hi, Patricia! Ah, uh, good morning, Ikuya. Oh gosh, I met Ikuya in primary school, and we have been good friends ever since. At this school, every class wears a unique uniform designed to tell them apart. Okay, It might seem confusing to those unfamiliar with our system, but I like it. Diversity is what makes this school special, compared to those in large cities. How are you? I'm fine, as usual. Hmm. Aren't you worried about the school trip this week? Uh, should I be? I've heard of a demon that kidnaps people who go in there. Oh, that's hogwash. Doesn't that sound scary? What if we get kidnapped? That's only a rumor. It was all over the local, no local, local newspapers. Didn't you read? Why is her name question marks? Oh, it was all over the local newspapers. <laughs> Suddenly, a dark-haired boy walks toward us. His name is Lu Luigi. Luigi. Lio. Luigi. Luigi. Like Akuya, I met him in primary school. He is not concerned about the school's dress policy. He wears his uniform however he likes, even if it is out of fashion. He also has crosses. Three crosses. We're always in the same class, but I do not mind. It can be quite fun with him around. Luigi can be a jerk sometimes, but he never has bad intentions. Nah, I don't have enough time to read the newspaper every day. Plus, I don't want to see the same advertisements over and over again. Hi, Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Akuya. What? No greeting for me? What? Well, to be fair, you didn't greet me either. Hey, be nicer to Patricia. You're always so mean to me, Luigi. I can't say Luigi and not laugh. Just to you, huh? Lioji. 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 Luigi. I don't know. Lioji. Have you heard about the demon in the forest? Oh, that was the wrong voice for that. Yeah, everyone in my neighborhood is talking about it. Apparently, the rumor started after some tourists went missing on a trip there. Do you think they're true? 
I don't know. I've never seen a demon before. Did I do the wrong voice again? They don't they exist only in legends? They say there's a true story behind every legend. This village has many tales, but I doubt they're all true. Oh my gosh, I need to get on board with this. If it's true, I hope our little demon friend doesn't eat people. Even if it does, it wouldn't eat you. You taste too bad. Who <laughs> you punches Leoji. Uh, what? Well, I was just kidding. <laughs> she giggles. Why is school taking us to a forest when a man-eating demon friendly robes around? Anyway, words, dude. The teachers don't believe the rumors. They think it's just a media stunt. Oh, what if it's a curse? Well, I guess we'll have to see what happens. There is one thing I would like to warn you about. What is it? It's not public information yet, but... Recently, a few villagers did go missing in the middle of the night. No trace of them has been found. It is as if they vanished. 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 This sort of thing has never happened here before. And I know this because my dad has told me. Oh my goodness! For real? Yeah. So it'd be too... It'd do you too good to be careful. I sure won't be walking around alone again. If we were headed in the same direction, I could walk you home. Another option, you can ask your brother to pick you up. In case I don't feel like it. My brother? No, not him. Why? He's from the elite class. He stands out too much. Well, if all eyes are on you, no one's going to make a move. But being picked up like a kindergartner? Sorry, but... Anyway, even though this news hasn't been officially released yet, you two should be more careful. I don't want my friends getting hurt. I'll be fine. Class starts soon. The first hour is history, my least favorite. It doesn't take long for me to doze off. I'll just take a short nap until class is over. I won't miss much anyway. <laughs> All I mean. When I finally opened my eyes, school has already ended. Why do I sound like a guy? I slept through all my classes. <laughs> I should be reprimanded for it, but my teacher, Mr. Blanchett, that is, how are you going to have all these names, and then the teacher's name is Blanchett, does not usually, uh, whatever, does not usually mind. He gives me special treatment because he knows I like to live, I live alone. Perhaps I should not do that too often, though. My classmates look at me with resentful gares, glares. I notice assignments laying on my desk, history and chemistry. Mr. Blanchett gives us more homework than usual. Can't get any more boring than doing the same assignments over and over again. Seems like the other students have already gone home. Ikuya and Le Leoji don't, didn't even bother to wake me up. Whoa, save? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know I pressed it. Whoa. How do I back? Alright. I will get back at them for this. Alright, right click is save. Okay. I feel, now I feel too lazy to get up. I got up though. Once I am ready, I start to head home. As usual, I'm walking alone. The QU's houses. Didn't he just tell you not to walk home? Akuya's house is in the opposite direction. Leoji is always busy with his after school activities. Even though I'm walking on the main road, no one is around. It is unusually quiet today, and even after what Leoji told me, I'm feeling especially on edge. My footsteps echo in the silence of the empty street. When I hear another set of footsteps, I glance back, relaxing when I see it's only a boy from my school. Don't trust him. <laughs> I look up at the cloudless sky and yawn. Even though I haven't done anything today, I feel so exhausted. I want to jump back into bed. I feel you on that. I feel you I take a few turns. It might be coincidence, but the boy behind me seems to be following me. And I've been walking very slowly this entire time, so he should have passed me by now. <laughs> I should test him. There's an easy trick to find out if someone is following you or not. If I turn three times clockwise or clockwise at forks in the road, I will walk in a circle. If the other person does that too, it means they have no destination. I enter a small alley. I take a turn. I turn once more, and again. Now if he's still following me, I know it's not just a coincidence. Right on cue, I hear the footsteps behind me. That guy is still following me? That sure is interesting. I speed up, trying to get him off my heels by taking more turns. All of a sudden, my arm is grabbed. Oh, silhouettes. I abruptly stop and turn around. It seems that my stalker has caught up with me. Oh, he's just a first year. Hello, um, 
we don't know each other, but we, okay, I should say, okay, back, but we go to the same school, and I just wanted to ask you something, um, what is it, and why is this really weird music playing while you're around me, well, uh, will you go out with me, why is this music so, uh, boy, uh, uh, is that all you wanted to ask? The boy looks at me and scratches his head, obviously flustered. Maybe if you stop playing the terror track. I've never seen him before. This confession is too sudden. It might have taken a lot of courage for him to confess to me, but I do not appreciate his creepy stalker's approach to things or the creepy music. You really had me freaked out. You should have waited somewhere instead of following me. I could have ended up punching you when you grabbed me. Don't do that. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not dating a freshman. I'm not interested in dating a freshman. Huh? I thought we were in the same year, you look so young. Anyway, I, I wasn't stalking, I just... You got it wrong, alright? Maybe you should memorize the uniforms for each class. I'm pretty new here. The first time I saw you, I immediately fell for you. Didn't you just see me just... You don't even know what... Also, why are you silhouetted and playing creepy music? Will you go out with me? Please, give me a chance. I roll my eyes at his cheesy lines. <laughs> so impatient, too. My answer is still no. No, let me go. He's still holding on to you? Please? The boy keeps holding on to me, even when I try to pull myself free. So, he's holding on to you. Not letting go. Silhouetted still. And is playing a creepy track on a portable Walkman of some sort with integrated speaker. Frustrated, I violently tug my arm away. This guy's attitude is really creeping me out. All the more reason to refuse him. He doesn't seem to know when to give up. What a brat. Sorry, forget what I said. Give me another chance. Let's start out as friends and get to know each other better. The boy grabs my other arm and pulls me closer. He's getting more forceful as he tries to keep our conversation going. Uh, without warning, I knee him in the stomach. Okay. He yelps and doubles over, finally letting me go. Ow! ow. Don't make me repeat myself. I'm sorry, please give me another chance. Is he a masochist? He reaches towards me again, but I step aside and grab his arm first, and then I do a kung fu snap grip. Skillfully, I seize his other arm and fold them both behind his back. When I speak again, my voice is stern. Try that again, and you won't live to regret it. Ugh. I never expected a small girl like you to be so strong. I mean, yes, ma'am. If you understand, then go. With a sigh, I release the boy and watch as he runs away. And we never got a good look at him. But at least the scary track is gone. I hear him mumble something inaudible before he disappears down another street. The first years are always so troublesome. He called me a small girl even though he was small himself. People like him will always act persistent unless I'm, unless I'm clear with him. Maybe I should report him to the administration. Well. I probably roughed him up enough to teach him a lesson. I don't know, that was kind of borderline, like, that was something else. Once I get home, I skip the text. I put my bag on the on the desk and drop down onto my bed. You got a nice cool room. Your chair is a little weird, though. As usual, the silence of my house is so heavy I can feel it making my shoulders sag. My parents work overseas, but they still call me whenever they can. It's not like I miss them, but it's boring to always be alone. I used to have many hobbies, but as soon as I grew up, they started to feel pointless. At some point, they all became repetitive. I can understand that. I do not want to spend my life in an endless cycle of chores. As if I'm not doing that right now. For the time being, I will just stay as I am. This village has always been quiet. Aside from the same holidays every year, there's not much going on. I wish something exciting would happen. Or perhaps I can make my own excitement. I can try something new, unless my fate has already been decided for me. If I could, I could rewrite this boring village. I think that I forgot something. There is something I wanted to do. The mansion. Ah, that mysterious mansion. I'm too sleepy right now, though. I'm so tired. I... <clears throat> my eyelids feel heavy, and before I know it, I am fast asleep. Patricia! Patricia! What is it, Akuya? Did you get in a fight with another student yesterday? Huh? Why do you ask? How does she know? 
There's a rumor that you roughed up a freshman yesterday for no reason. Oh, there was definitely a reason. Seriously, that... Seriously, that brat? I should have reported him. Uh, of course, I'm on your side. I don't believe you would do such a thing. A part of it is actually true. But to be fair, he was stalking me and was being very forceful. So I simply defended him. Yeah, he would not let go. Uh, but Trisha, there's a difference between self-defense and assault. I doubt Mr. Class President will ever understand. Do you really remind you really do remind me of a wild rose? <laughs> if I grew roots in this place, I'd die of boredom. Oh, oh, that reminds me of this time from two years ago. You know, when you beat up those seniors? It wasn't like I wanted to do it. I didn't even get involved until they started hazing all the freshmen. I couldn't hold back. Try to be nicer to your fellow students. Fine, fine. I'll do my best. You should take care more you should care more about your reputation. Aren't you afraid that you won't be able to make friends now that the rumor is going around? I didn't intend to make friends with the freshmen anyway. You always seem so bored. Meeting new people or falling in love will make your life more exciting. Huh. No comment. Shortly afterwards, we begin to prepare for our trip to the forest. Our history teacher will be our guide. He supposedly wants to show us the class, show the class a monument we learned about in class. He claims pictures and books are nothing compared to the real thing. This is true. The monument we'll be visiting is only a 15 minute walk from our school. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to end it here. I definitely like it. I, it is another story one, uh, but it doesn't seem to be a bad one. Uh, there's been a few that we ran in that were definitely not up to par, but this one seems like it's definitely gonna have like a good story. I don't know if it's gonna have choices. A lot of them do have choices. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna definitely gonna do a part two of this. It's definitely cool. And I'll see you guys in the next one.